Okay, I'm redoing the uh, rear bushes and I'm going to be taking the differential out because uh, I'm going to swap it with a hopefully a one that uh, I looked at a few, maybe six months to a year ago, I haven't done it. Uh, these bushes, I don't know if you can see that, but these were done 20 years ago. It's definitely overdue. Let me try and zoom in that. You can see how bad that is. Uh, these ones were originally from Rima Brothers about 20, 22 years ago. And yeah, they, I have been deferring maintenance on these. And the interesting thing is the ones I took out, the original ones I took out didn't even look this bad. But yeah, this whole rear end is coming off. But anyway, I wanted to just show you quickly a couple of things. People work on their brakes and then they post pictures on Facebook. Oops, I apologize, my air compressor is going on. So let me pause for one minute and uh, come back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so what I did, I'm, I'm removing the rear diff and I actually withdrew the half shaft and people do ask, can you take the half shaft out without removing the drums? Uh, yes, you can, as you can see here. Um, but you want to be careful. These are held in with uh, aluminum or aluminum, as we call it in America. And uh, you, I think they're like 16 pounds per square inch. Very, very light. Um, so don't over -talk them. I'm just holding on the brake drum because I've removed all the, uh, the lock nuts. Um, I have uh, just attached it with some, just basically some spaces and some lock nuts because I don't want to go all the way down because you can see that, I don't know if you can see carefully that basically there's, you know, the bit where the actual half shaft was sitting on. So that hasn't been threaded. So I'm scared that I may screw that. But anyway, here's a couple of things I wanted to point out. People always talk about the rear brake drums and they, they have trouble. And one thing that you'll often see is that this spring in the book actually gets hooked on from behind. I don't know if you can see that there. And this is the correct way that it should go on. And people say, yeah, does it matter? And so the theory is that with the spring at the back, the brake shoes are being pulled towards the back plate and not the, the drum. So that's the reason why they say put it in this way. Uh, when I, I always have trouble with brakes, I'll be honest with you, especially the ones at the bottom and the mechanism. Let me just move my light a bit. I have mean, got a bit too much light. Um, putting in the adjusters and everything. And But I always start off with this one first, the top one, connect those up, leave these off, connect the bottom ones, and that's how it's easier to get because it's very difficult to get that one on first. Uh, last, I always put that on first. Um, here is the brake adjuster. As you can see, it's coming out. This is, I don't know if you can make out, there's some teeth on that. You basically, when you put in new uh, pads, this wants to be all the way in here. So you lift this up. Again, I apologize, I got one hand with my phone and one hand on the uh, screwdriver, but basically, push that up and you'll see that little thing move and then with the other hand just put this as teeth on that push it all the way back what that does is bring the brake drum closer together now the way that you adjust them is when you put your foot on the brake pedal you hear this click 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 and it's basically this ratchet sorry let me put the light here it's basically this ratchet mechanism that's that's actually here clicking over the other the teeth part is clicking over the other part of which has also teeth and so that's what you hear it so again you know make sure that's all together um folks sell the rubber bush the rubber sorry uh, gator or dust cap for the handbrake thing i'll be honest with you i've changed so many that after two years they just fall apart um and or two or three years if you've got a good brand let me know i haven't had much luck so i, I never really bothered putting them back on but yeah the, ideally you should put them on for water ingress and uh, anything else like that uh but yeah that's uh my little bit on brakes as i said i'm not doing a brake job on this car 
I'm just going to keep that on. I'm, I'm taking the rear end off. So I'll post this video later on today.